Hello, welcome to this week's episode of Pat My Banana's in Pajamas. My name's Banana. And my name's Pajama. And together we have pajamas in the banana. <laughs> 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 I was going to try and say it backwards. That did not last long. Okay, what? What? Why did you want to say it backwards? I was trying to say my um together we are pajamas in bananas, not bananas in pajamas. But that did oh. not work in my favour, and it came oh. out banana banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with it. This is it. <laughs> Yep, so hello, how's it going, Fraser? Yeah, not oh, too sorry, bad. Sorry, no, no, sorry. How's it going, Pajama? <laughs> uh, not too bad, Banana. Good. How about you, Banana? Not too bad, Banana. Judge which you let me now. I can't do Fuck, this. Are you broken? <laughs> this week's been a bit of a slow week, I guess. I think it's been one of the slowest weeks of the year so far. It's gonna be even slower for the next few weeks. So, the UK has gone into a semi-lockdown. Uh, yeah, it's a lockdown. Know. It's a it lockdown. Is basically, yeah. But it's like, you can still go out for a walk, you can have a drive to the shop to get food. So on, so on. Um, and that's it. Oh, and you can go and see vulnerable people. Um, yeah. To make sure that they're okay. But other than that, you're not allowed to do anything. Everything else is illegal. You're not allowed to go to the shop for just chocolate, for example. You need to be shopping for essentials. Otherwise, it's illegal. Yeah. Such a weird time to be alive. It is. It's something that we're going to look back on and be like, God, I'm, I'm glad that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Oh, my God. But it's the, the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's like a plague has infected everyone's lives. That's funny you should say that. I oh. um was talking to someone the other day about how coronavirus is going to go down in history and not just like a history of a medical thing or uh -huh. bio biological thing like you know Ebola is talked about in science bird flu and swine flu that's talked about in science but the black plague is talked about in history uh, talked about in history lessons I reckon coronavirus COVID-19 specifically is going to go down and be taught in history lessons mm. probably because that that was worldwide the, or, <laughs> and I if mean, we the have children ones... one day they'll be coming back uncle or mummy or daddy <laughs> what is a coronavirus and we'll just and like you know the whole Vietnam like flashbacks <laughs> meme for then the meme is gonna be COVID-19 flashbacks yep I cannot wait you heard it here first everybody if, we're having uh, kids yeah if your kids ever say it just make them listen to this podcast from the 30th of March 2020 you know what mark it in your phones for like 20 years time everyone yeah, um, and just calendar. listen back. I'm sure yeah. if you have an iPhone, you'll still have an iPhone in 2040. Um, or probably called like a Q phone or something. Yeah, but you'll still have the same like, Apple ID. Yeah. And just yeah. make sure it's linked up and, you know, come back for a listen. We'll have a listen as well. Like I'm sure we'll be like... <laughs> that's what we sound like. And... Well, that's what you'll sound like. I'll sound like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have gone through puberty or anything. You just sort of reverse-aged... <laughs> Was me saying yep. Oh my god, that was higher than I've ever heard you. Yep. <laughs> I hate it. I'm going higher. What if in the future though, um, like your Apple ID isn't bound to an email address. Your Apple ID is bound to your DNA. You sign in. You know how like you got thumbprint reading and stuff. It's just yeah. DNA reading. Your account is your genetics, and there's See? no way of you to have more than one account because it's tied to your genetics. It's. It, I think it'd be possible, but I, I. I think it wouldn't be something they'd do for our lifetime. China would do it first. We'd see China do it first. China has yeah. everything first. They invade privacy. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke there. Oh god! It, no, no, no! Do it! Do it! I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say they had coronavirus first. Hey! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So we we probably see it happen over in China first. Um, but other than that, yeah, we probably won't see it be mainstream. I mean, China and Japan, they've got high-speed trains. We don't. I mean, we ain't we've, gonna got, see. we've got trains that go from here to Amsterdam for cheaper than we have from trains that go from here to the next town. Yep, that's very, very true. Get a train for, like, what, 
six pound or twelve pound or something like that, maybe maximum of thirty. I think in, or at least this is what I've heard anyway. In the Netherlands, you can literally pay like a flat fee to go anywhere around the yeah. country as many times as you want during a day. Yeah. I can't remember if it was like. 10 or 20 euros. I might even be making this price up. But I know that someone told me that that was a thing. Um, and like, it, I'm, I'm so jealous. It'd be great to have that in the UK. You know how much Everyone. it is to, uh, for a train ticket in Japan? What's that? Uh, the equivalent of about pound fifty. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. See, that's Which what is... we need. Mental, but I mean, the thing is, theirs are like fully funded and stuff by, I think it's just funded by the government there. Or Which whatever is what is we there. need. But the government here are like, no, 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 we must keep our money. Brexit. <laughs> That's it. It's like, it's like get, get rid of privatisation and boom. Fixed. Yeah. Like at the moment, train prices here, I mean, I if I give you an idea, yeah, I'll give you an idea of how much it costs from... Where I live now, to the town mm-hmm. across. Go um, for it. Let me have a look, let me have a look, let me have a look. National Rail. It's a six-minute journey, okay? Oh, my God. To give you an idea, it's a six-minute journey. If I was leaving in 20 minutes' time, £4.10p. Is that just one way? That's one way. How long would it take to get there by bus? Uh, about 25 minutes. Would you like to know how much it is for a bus ticket? Go on, then. <laughs> about six pounds. Oh, my God. In Bristol, it's, it's like it's four stupid. pounds. Yeah, it, it's really stupid. For a return, it is four pounds 30. So it's 20p more for a return. Wow. <laughs> Which is mental, but that's to give you an idea. A six-minute journey costs that much where I am. It's not bad, like, the bus prices, yeah, not too bad. But um, it's just compared to going longer distances. Like, going from Bristol, Bristol Temple Meads, yeah, to Birmingham, specifically Birmingham NEC, if you don't have a rail card and you want a return ticket, you're looking at, like, £58, £59 mm. for a one-and-a-half-hour total trip, maybe one-and-three-quarter-hour yep. total trip. And it's, it's crazy, so I'm very envious of you, Japan. Feel free to bring your um, investors and your government over to the UK because yeah. we need cheaper trains. Do you want to know how much... It, all right, I've just looked now, yeah? Mm-hmm. If I wanted to go and visit my mum right this second... Not right this second, but, like, tomorrow. <laughs> this second? You're off in, like, five minutes. <laughs> uh, it's a seven-hour, 48-minute journey from here, which is the average. What, roughly. on the train? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it does go through a like, bunch of different stations to try and, like, calm down uh, the amount of trains going at the moment. Right. Um, £174.30 single. Oh, journey. my gosh. Whereas in Japan, that would cost us about... £2.50. <laughs> yeah, probably about and £2.50 a Freddo. to £4. Oh, That's Freddo. crazy. That's I would take a Freddo. I know we've talked about trains like many times on the podcast before, but it's just, it's always one of these things where it just comes up and we're just like, oh my God, we've got it so expensive. Why is it so expensive? <laughs> At least we've got trains, I guess. America doesn't really have any trains. That's true. Their train system is rubbish. And yeah. Yeah. So we got America. Something. We do feel bad for you guys. Apparently there are some train systems over there which are great, but yeah, we're all yeah. about like proper like cross country trains, not just like trams and stuff. Yeah. But talking of trains though or training at least have you heard of the body coach you know what I have (laughs) so um (laughs) there's this guy in the UK who goes on the channel called the body coach and his channel lately has been properly blowing up as in 1 million subscribers in the last 7-8 days blowing up he's doubled his subscriber count yeah it's the Kai Ross best channel Kai, Kai runs it yeah, yeah, yeah. Come subscribe, please. Thanks. And um, he's been blown up for one reason. And that one reason is because he's been doing daily PE lessons streamed onto YouTube for half an hour every day or every weekday, rather, at 9 a.m. for kids and adults and anybody to join in and do a small workout session. Including now, 73-year-old Brenda. 
Including 73 year old Brenda. Big up, Brenda. Brenda from Bristol. Not another one? <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's fantastic. It's crazy. Like, it's not like it's a very clean setup and it, it looks really professional. But, like, there's no music. It's not like one of those, like, DVDs where you're trying to do, like, a workout DVD. <laughs> it's he will do little exercises with you that anybody from any age can do. And he has been blowing up. Today, his Monday, first, yeah, his Monday, the thirtieth training session, the sixth day he's done it. He's been on, he's on the trending page, number one slot. His stream's been live for nine hours. Now I don't know how many people watched his stream, but to give you an example, six hundred thousand people were watching all at the same time on Friday, twenty seventh. But as of nine hours after a stream being live, it had over one and a half million views in That's nine hours. Point. He is the next PewDiePie. He is. And he does fitness. I say. Mm. And I still can't give myself a reason to get up and do exercises because I'm a lazy shit. <laughs> you know what? Um, I think during lockdown as well, especially, um, if you're bored, definitely go check it out once a day. Get your family all involved. It's really important that everyone gets some exercise. Yeah. Because otherwise you will start to have... Have you ever watched Wally? I have. You know the, the scene right at the beginning where it's everyone just sat on their asses eating food? Was that the, was that the scene? <laughs> no, that was um, just the music? when they were dancing on the old movie and then he would learn the tune and he goes... And remember the um, little paint cleaner up roller guy? I think it's like Mo or something like that. Yeah, and all the robots, that. they would all start going... Wah, wah, Do you remember it? <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Yeah, no, I know what you're on about, though. You don't want to be one of those fat people flying around on one of those floaty well, I'm uh, not, I'm chairs not saying on the necessarily ship. necessarily flat. I'm just saying it's good to... Flat? <laughs> F- nah. <laughs> what? You won't be flat. You're I meant, just, like... Might... I did mean one of the fat people in it, but I meant, like, try and... Just... I mean, just watch it. It's half hour of your life that yeah. you're going to be spending just saying oh I'm bored what do I do it's just it's good for you alright to be fair that does I'm not someone like that me. exercises that often but I went out today for an hour and a half with my dog oh man like, the boy shots can't do like anything 15, about it minutes. that was your first exercise of the day <laughs> it was and you're only yeah I um, hope a voice that's illegal yeah Bad I don't know I went out just that once um, <laughs> but like we, we went out for around that long and like it's it, it's something you know yeah it's good for me good for him just do something <laughs> don't sit around playing minecraft all day sorry to be honest i do want to do that right now but <laughs> <laughs> do something yeah, so... don't sit at home do nothing so uh, no, how are you coping home. with it all how are you coping me yeah well i've, I've been doing the same thing since five thirty p.m on friday the 30th of march 2018 because my two-year anniversary of working with jack now <gasps> yeah <laughs> Hey! He's so really, it's, it's not really any different for me. The only difference is, like, my dad's home at the moment more. Um, yeah. The dog, obviously, gets me up in the morning. He gets me outside a bit. Yeah. And I just get on with stuff, really. The internet's been a bit off and on, but... Off and on? On and off. Yeah. But otherwise, it's been... It's just been normal for me. I've been watching a lot of Disney+. Plus. <laughs> Oh, you've been making a mess of that then, eh? I have. My friends gave me their account um, and said, eh, go on, just make yourself a profile on there. I was like, do you want me to pay anything? And they're like, ah, it's all right. And I was like, it's okay. okay. Um, so I was very happy with that. But I've watched, uh, what have I watched? I watched T- Tim Burton's Dumbo. Oh, yeah, I good I finally film. watched uh, Toy Story 4. The one where, in the end, he ends up staying at the fairground. Yep, that one. Yep, good film. Um, I watched that one. I've also been watching... I've watched a whole season, yeah, and a half, roughly, or a season and a quarter, I'd say, of uh, Raven's Home, which is a uh, That's oh So Raven Oh my god, spin-off. that's a classic. Spin-off of That's So Raven. Yeah, classic. It's like when they're all grown up and stuff, and they've got kids yeah. of their own. It's it's good. I've watched... Oh, it's that one. Yeah, it's the new one. Yeah, not the, old the new Raven. one. Sorry, I was thinking that's so Raven. I just heard Raven. I was like, oh my god, Raven, that's so Raven. Yeah, that's that is on here though. Um, oh, what that... all of that's on? What every single season? Yeah, 
everything. All right, Disney Plus, you got a new member. It's, it's really like it's really good. Uh, I was going to watch Clone Wars um, two today. Have they got Sweet Life? Yeah. Oh. They've also got your favorite show, Frozen, which I've just sent to you, which we watched when we were in America. <laughs> no way, Andy Mack! <laughs> oh my god, Andy Mack! I'll give you an idea of what they got. Yeah. Um, Go on, obviously, then. they got the Mandalorian because that's what's out right now. That's the big boy at the moment. They got all the live action stuff, like they got the live action Lady and the Tramp, live live action Dumbo. They got Avatar on here, Pirates of the Caribbean, all the Toy Stories, all the Marvel stuff, uh, wow. all the animated stuff you kind of expect, like Little Mermaid, Finding Nemo, Dory, <laughs> Lion King, uh, Big Hero Six, Frozen, The Simpsons, uh, The Simpsons, Avengers. Simpsons, yeah, owned yeah. by Disney. Uh, oh, Aladdin, of course, yeah, the new Aladdin, the old Aladdin. Uh, High School Musical, all of them. Oh, right. Now I'm definitely getting a subscription, <laughs> getting the year subscription for that. Uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody's on here, all of that. Uh, Phineas and Ferb. Oh. Hannah Montana, Wizards of Waverly Place. Good Luck Charlie. Um, They've Sweet literally got movie. Disney Channel before it died on there. Yeah. Uh, the Invisible Sister. I don't know what that is, but they've got that. I Mary even Poppins heard of that. Returns, Moana. Uh, DuckTales, Roger Rabbit. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. I still haven't watched Monsters University. Bed knobs. It's good. You should watch bed it. Bedknobs? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it just says Bedknobs. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a nostalgic movie. I don't know it, so I don't think it's that nostalgic. No. Uh, Muppets movie. Yep, nice. Uh, stuff for kids as well, like uh, obviously uh, Doc McStuffin, whatever that is. Puppy Dog oh. Pals, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey um, Mouse's Clubhouse. Is that the classic one or is this like yeah, a new one? Yeah. M I C K E Y. They've got something called M-O-U-S-E. Pixar in real life as well, which uh, has a Wally in the thumbnail and a dog and a human. Oh, okay. Uh, they got Mickey Through the Years, so all the Mickey Mouse stuff. They've got documentaries on there as well, like uh, Jeff Goldblum's on there. Um. Have they got all of the, um, you know, those um, Mickey Mouse animated shorts? I don't yep. know if you ever had one of these, but there was like the DVDs where you could get like the adventures of Donald Duck, the adventures of Goofy, the adventures of Mickey Mouse, and it'd be shorts based on just those characters. Have they I'd got all of those so. shorts on there? I expect so. I'll give you an idea. On here it says Mickey Mouse through the years. Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse, the old days, the band concert, the rival, through the mirror, uh, Hawaiian holiday, like lonesome classics. ghosts, clock cleaners, uh, Mickey's trailer, boat builders. Uh, Fantasia's on here as well. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's got everything. Um, I mean, I've only gone through, like, a small amount of stuff on here. Uh, if I go into movies, for example, everything's in there. From Frozen... Frozen 2's not on there yet, which is kind of expected. Ice Age is on there. Yeah. I didn't know that was owned by Disney, but... Oh, no way! Uh, Christopher Robin, Zootopia, <laughs> Jungle Book... Coco. I might actually have to start a trial so I can have a proper look. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's definitely worth it if you like Disney. Yeah. Um, like I've, I've been spending a lot of time just chilling and watching stuff at the moment, which is... <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. I guess the only, problem, on as well. the only problem with Disney Plus is that once you've seen everything, it's not like yeah. Netflix where they can just keep creating shows and stuff. It's well, got to it be. Is. They've they've got a prop. Yeah, I know, but like they're limited. Yeah. They're limited to um, only their own originals and stuff. It's not like they can branch out and. Um, no, they could. Do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, if they've got they've got National Ge- Geographic on it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so it's not just the Disney Channel. No, they've got Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic. Oh, that's endless. And then they've also got stuff like. Like I said, they got Ice Age Continental Drift, which is not anything to do with Disney. It's uh, the other one. Paramount, I think. I can't remember if it's Paramount or not, but yeah. Okay, okay, Same right. So you are going to be there for quite a long time then. Yeah, like there's, there's stuff to keep you occupied for a long, long time. They got Diary of the Wimpy Kid on there as well. <laughs> oh, no way! Yep. What, all of them? Uh, I think so. They got Mrs. Doubtfire on there. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Night in the Museum, uh, Princess Diaries, just for you. Garfield's on there. (laughs) Do you know what? It doesn't even sound like a streaming service now. It just sounds like an archive of every single fucking movie that Mm. you know and love. (laughs) Mm. 
Okay, do you know what? I did have my doubts in Disney Plus. So did I until I had an account. Now that you've listed all of these, it does sound good. So please use the referral code stuck in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, no, we don't have any of that, that, but that'd be great. Oh man. Yeah, but do you know what? I, I've been really enjoying it. watching stuff on there. It, it's a nice little killer for like what's going on at the moment. So you're coping really well then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, once I finish my work and I don't have to do anything for the rest of the day, Disney Plus it. Nice. Or just do something else. I don't know. Depends what I'm up to or I feel like doing. But yeah. I mean, I, I love all the classics that are on here at the moment as well. And like, especially Raven's Home, it's got the classic, like, that's so Raven sort of feel. Yeah. Which is really good. Um, oh, I'm actually going to have to consider this. I mean, they're still going to add, like, new movies on here, obviously, as well. Like, they've got the new Maleficent to add to this. Uh, yeah. They've got the new Frozen, Frozen 2 to add to it. Yeah. And so on. And all of the. Have, have they got um, Lion King? They got Lion King. The live action one? Yep. Ah, nice. They've yeah, got I guess Lion they, King, they've Lion King one and a half, Lion King two, Lion King. Uh, they got a bunch of weddings on here. <laughs> they've planned loads of um live action stuff coming out over the next few years, and yeah, I think yeah, this yeah. is finally um, this is finally why they finally proven why they're doing all of this. Yeah. What but- I want to see them do now, though, is because they seem to be expanding on a lot of existing um brands and a lot of existing lines that you already know and love i want to see them dive into new areas Mm. it'd be interesting to see what the new face of disney is because it seems like they're going back and doing all the real live action stuff which is cool don't get me wrong obviously it's mixed opinions people like the originals whereas some people do like seeing it all in like a real perspective fantastic yeah i love it but I want to see them like I want to see what the new spin on Disney is I know there's like the whole Disney Channel no one watches Disney Channel now it's not well I mean people do but it's not a I mean, generation anymore there is a few things on there that'll still be decent I mean when we were out in America we loved that one I can't remember what it was called but it was the one with the uh, the, the the two kids the two parents or whatever and they were on a live studio yeah and the entire show was the controlled shows. by the studio yeah they decide what happens what was that called? Because it was actually surprisingly good. Mm. I can't remember what it was called, but it, was, it, it wasn't was Andy Mac, was it? It was not Andy Mac. <laughs> no, that that was the other one. <laughs> Andy Mac was the one where you were like, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, now I remember it properly. <laughs> oh my god, I see. When you showed me the picture, I was like, yeah, I know that. I know that. It, I know what that is, but I forgot that meme which came with it. Yeah, I still got that video on my phone. I watched oh it back my a few god. weeks ago. You need to put that on Twitter, and um, guys, have a look at Kai's Twitter. I'll, um, I'll put it on Twitter after we finish recording this. Yeah, have a look at Kai's Twitter to see that video, because, oh my god, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't shirtless, was I? You were not shirtless, I don't think so. Okay, because... <laughs> I, I think I we know... just got back, and we got back early, because... Because um... of the rain. The rain game? Yeah. Um, because of the hurricane and stuff. Or was it tornado? I can't fucking remember. It was one of the two windy one. big boys. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I I think you'd like Disney Plus. I think I'll need to. I'll need to give yeah. it a go. I think you'll like it. I wanna it. know what that show was called now. Disney um show where audience decides. Just roll with it. That's it. That was it. it. It's just roll with it on there. Yep. Uh, let me have a look. Go on, look, please. Look. Ju- just roll. Oh my god, no it's way! It's not. You'll never guess what? Gone. The first episode of Just Roll With It came out on the 14th of June, 2019. We were watching a brand new show. Oh, wow. We literally, our second full day in the States... That was the day it came out. That's and I cool. think we must have watched it as it just came out. Whoa. That's amazing! Well, and we I'm never sad knew. to tell you, though. It's not on Disney+. Plus. I'm sad to tell you as well. It's got a 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb. <laughs> Stupid. I mean, it's been cancelled now. <laughs> ah, well, the season two, episode five episode is coming out on the 19th of April, 2020. So it is still going. They did get a sec. They did get a second season. Fair enough. Good on them. I liked yeah. it. I mean, even though just roll with it, it's not on Disney Plus. Phrase you can watch 
the Shaggy DA or the Shaggy Da. Or you can watch First Kid or mm-hmm. Snow Dogs or Bugs oh, Life. Snow Dogs, that was a classic. Timmy Failure, uh, 101 Dalmatians, High School Musical. There's a musical, the series. <laughs> That's a God. bit of a tongue twister. Herbie! No way! Who? Herbie. Who's Herbie? Herbie. Who? Can you see Herbie just there? Oh, I can see Starstruck. Herbie. I can see Herbie. Herbie. Herbie oh, goes to Monte man. Carlo. I have to give it a go. I'm going to have to do it. It's definitely worth it, I think. We've just spent the last 10 minutes talking about Disney+. Plus. Disney, please bloody sponsor us. Yeah, like, sponsor LD Shadow. <laughs> they did! Did you yeah. see her cartoon? Yeah. They did I, a really I told you job. about it. Oh, I saw it on Instagram. Oh, I, I think I told you about it. Did I not tell you about it? I don't know. I saw it on Instagram. That's weird. I just loaded up Instagram to go and find it. And who's on my homepage? LD Shadow, Shadow Lady. Lady. Oh, Bloody hell. spooky. How in her Animal Crossing? We'll get to Animal Crossing in a second. We will. <laughs> um, God. You know who else got sponsored by Disney? Who's that? Bloody Ollie. Ollie Orion Sounds. Oh, he's done good um, though with his sponsorship. Is he still in um, Maker? Ah, I couldn't tell you. Because I think a lot of um, Maker partners are getting sponsored by Disney, obviously, because Maker is owned by Disney. Yeah, I can't remember what they... I think it changes to the Disney Network now. Oh, I think that's course, what they called yeah. it, because they bought out... Um, but you can find on Wikipedia... Uh, I think it's Wikipedia. It showed everyone that was in it. So... Okay. It's called the Disney Digital Network now. That's um, it. There are a lot of members. KSI's in it. Not surprised. Um, but actually, Logan then again, Paul's I am it. surprised. I thought he made his own MCN. No, I th- I'm pretty sure. I don't know where the list is, but um, we went through it the other day. Um, Disney Disney Digital Network YouTubers. There you go. Google that. We're going to find out. I'm going to find out for you. Uh, and whilst Kai's finding out, um, yeah, um, so Kai's been on lockdown for the last two years. Um, I've been on lockdown for, it will be two weeks and a day when this episode comes out. Because mm-hmm. um, I was home since 5.30pm on Tuesday the 17th of March. That was when work sent us home with our laptops and equipment. I went home with like a massive bag full of stuff. Um, and I've got like my whole work set up here. And yeah, I've not really left the house. I've been out to take Peter on a walk. And mm. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to need to take her on more walks, to be honest. But it just feels weird, like, not being able to leave the town and just leave the local area. Because you can't even go to the shops or anything. There's nothing you can do. So yeah. it just... I, I liked going in to work every day because it was in the center of Bristol. So I would live yeah. that city life. Um, and now I don't. And it's just... I can't even leave my house properly. So it's so strange. So... Of course, with this, something that I'm just going to obviously briefly touch on as well. Um, I had, as you may have listened to in previous podcasts, I was also in that car accident. So there's also been the whole faff of dealing with that whilst coronavirus slowly but surely takes over everybody's lives. So the police, for example, you can't call them anymore. Um, you can't call the collisions department of the police anyway, uh, because the phones are suspended due to coronavirus. So I can't talk to anyone real from the police I can still email, but with delayed response. I can't talk to anyone properly from my claims because the phones are suspended due to coronavirus and all the staff have been sent home. So I have to go via email, which has a lot of delays. I can't talk to anybody like from proper insurance and whiplash stuff. I can't talk to a human. And this is like the worst time for anything to probably happen because like I can not actually deal with anything. I can't get things done. And there's like the whole stress of it. So like I'm fine generally with the whole virus and stuff because I can I can deal with that I know I'm in a safe place but because of it like impacting everybody's lives it's there's a lot of stress which comes off the back of that yeah I'm not too stressed about the virus because like almost everyone in the house is locked down entirely now um the only person that isn't is my brother because he works in a retail store um but uh, yeah other than that like I know we're pretty much home all the time um 
my grandparents, they are staying home. We're not visiting them, unfortunately, anymore. So we just have to do video calls and they're happy with that. Um, and that's about it now. So like my main worry was obviously, oh, if I go to work and I'm on public transport and stuff, I could pass it on to my mum, who's then going to see my grandparents who could then, you know, get sick. But that worry's gone now. So I seem, I'm mainly okay. It's just the car and shit. Yeah. Um, but I have found this list, by the way. Okay, two seconds. But yeah, yeah, I don't know right. if you've heard. Today about, they said. Well, about, about, sorry. <laughs> Everybody heard about the bird. Don't you know about the bird? Everybody knows about the bird. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, they said today that there might be a potential of six month lockdown. Yeah, that's fun. Not happy about that. I want summer. Yeah. So just stay inside, goddammit. It's not hard. That's it. Stay home. Don't go out. Don't be a twat. I, I don't think follow. people understand the reason they're saying stay inside for three weeks. Because if you have it, if you can have it for up to fourteen, if like you can have it up to fourteen days without knowing, mm-hmm. the first fourteen days that's two weeks. It lasts. Have you been able to spread? Yeah, yeah. It lasts a week, so by the end of those three weeks, it's gone. <laughs> I'm glad that more people are listening now. There's still not enough the point people listening. Said six months. Yeah. I think there's still not enough people listening. Like, there's still people on the sunny days that are going out. They are going to the parks. They are taking the piss. um, And they are having to be dispersed by police. But more people are listening, especially now with the news of Boris Johnson having coronavirus. Mm. Um, And with the... Is it the Deputy Health Secretary or is it the Health Secretary? I can't remember. One of them also has the coronavirus. And like... Yeah. Queen might have it. Possibly. The Queen could possibly have it. two days before he was diagnosed or something like that. I think it was... um, Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, she was. She was in contact with him. So there's that risk. Um, And also, Michael Rosen. He doesn't have it. He's probably got it. But he is ill. Yeah. So, uh, not good times. Stay indoors. If you don't stay indoors, we hate you. Yeah. We don't, but like, you know, just <laughs> no, do no, the we right do, thing. We do. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay indoors. It's important. Yeah. It's it's a it's horrible easy. time. It, there's 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 stuff you can do online. There's stuff you can do with your family while they're home, if they are home. They should be home. Mm-hmm. Um There's just... a few new apps as well. Like there's this one which has been around for a while but it's now properly blown up called House Party. And what you can do is you can um spend time with your friends on there. You can I've seen a bad thing from that today. I've seen a few iffy things as well, because you can talk to strangers. Um no, so no, obviously... I saw something else about it. Oh god, here we go then. What what have I not heard? It was like some leak or something like that, and it leaked a bunch of like personal information to things or something right so don't use house party (laughs) but um quite a lot of people quite a lot of people as well they're going on to they're going Um, on to zoom seeing a lot of really bad stuff about the house party app leading to accounts for other apps being hacked might have had details compromised be cautious going forward yeah so don't use house party but there are (laughs) things like that like skype i guess zoom Um, zoom something that's around at the moment yeah zoom has been a thing for ages and it was used as a business conference and a meeting tool um zoom recently um lifted their limits for free accounts where you can have calls for a longer period of time you can have more people in the calls and you don't need to pay for that for the free during the free trial um mm-hmm. but now people have taken it and they're using it in their households instead as like the ne- ne- the next skype alternative and yeah. um for things like quizzes and stuff and yeah. it's so strange to see how like business tools are now coming into the household i remember seeing the other day that there was this uh coffee company who provide exclusively for businesses with machines and stuff there's people buying for their own homes and they've seen like a massive surge in demand and stuff it's weird how like business oriented tools are going home yeah I saw uh, Martin Lewis yeah Mm -hmm. he advertised something earlier that he used for a uh, 
Martin Lewis, by the way, is the money saving guy in the UK, basically. Legend. If no one knows, he's very good at what he does. Uh, I saw him uh, put something out earlier where he did like a live thing on uh, this morning from his house, and rather yeah. than using Skype, he went out and got this thing called like a uh, globe, globe or something like that. Okay. I can't what it was? It was something like a globe, um, and basically. It it's just a high quality, low latency thing. So, it's it's like a much better studio camera thing that you can use from your house. Right. And that that's a way people can still do like live stuff for TV and whatever else at their home. <laughs> just thought I'd mention oh. it. Oh, <laughs> oh, so it's like um a video conferencing camera, but yeah. it's like properly professional. Yeah, it's called so a like Globe Links. Four K. Globe Links. And, it, uh, here you go, here you go. Look, I'll show you the quality. Oh, there it is, Globe Links camera. Here's oh, two oh, Discord Nitro. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tried to send you a link and it didn't like me. There you go. Look, that that's a, like someone taking a photo of the screen earlier. Like it's a proper good quality thing. God, that thing's a beast. Mm. I don't know how much it is to say that, but it is pretty cool. It even says it's described as a TV studio on a box. Yeah. Mental. And it looks like it. That's incredible. It is mental. I want to find out how much it costs now. Let's find out. Put your I'm bets. looking, but I can't find anything. I'm going to say two th- grand. Yeah, probably something like that. Oh, I can't find it. It's not on their website. Anyway, um... <laughs> That's impressive, though. That's really impressive. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. But you know what? I've got a challenge for everyone. Mm-hmm. So, with, with like, obviously... I don't know if everyone that listens, obviously, is from the UK. I'm sure no, not everyone is. But just stay at home and tweet us with something that you're learning and try and learn something new within the next two weeks that you've never learned before even if it's something just like just like juggling try it that's, send yeah, us that's videos and send us pictures send us if, if you want send us whatever you want through our twitter account at stuck in a podcast and we'll have a look through them next week or the week after or something like that that's a really solid idea yeah I, I think it's a good thing to like get people doing stuff rather than like you know yeah not doing stuff <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll come back to that in two weeks then. So episode 34, um, we will get Kai to review the homework. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't have to be good or anything like that, obviously, but just show that you're trying something new. And try, just keep doing like, even if it's five minutes a day for the next two weeks, it's something to keep you occupied, you know? Yeah. Do something that you've never done before. That's a solid challenge. I like that. Hmm. And um, another thing with that, another bit of homework for you. Um, So obviously with all of us now being in lockdown, there isn't a massive amount going on in our lives. Um, We're home. Things can happen from home. We can look at the news. Um, We can look out the window. We can go on our exercise. We can go to the shop and that's about it. There's nothing else that can be done, which obviously means not in the short term anyway. We're fine for telling more stories in the short term. Um, but it does mean eventually we are going to run dry of stories because there's not a lot going on as of this present time. We can go can back tell and look about at that. So Raven again. <laughs> <laughs> we can go back and like you know go on previous stories and stuff, no problem. But in terms of like current topics, like what's going on in our lives, because people like they give us people give us feedback and say, yeah, we love hearing about what's going on in your lives. We love hearing about what you did last week. Um, there isn't a last week and there isn't a week before we've been home and that's it so we've decided that we're, we're gonna switch up the format a little bit not to the point where there's going to be like a drastic change but like you know how this my episode... name Fraser yeah we're just gonna be angry vikings <laughs> but my that's name it. Fraser your name not Fraser <laughs> That we're gonna do more like um, creative discussion. So instead of like, I've never. I, I have paintbrush. 
<laughs> no, it's, it, I haven't come up with like a good example of this yet. But more I have. Like, I have a pen brush. We could talk about a specific topic. Um, we could talk about like pros and cons maybe of the topic. We can talk about ideas. Um, basically fiction. We can make up shit as we go along. Um, based. I do on... not have pen brush. <laughs> Based on a funny topic. So, like paintbrush. Um, the other bit of homework I need you to do <laughs> is just because I'm still working on this idea. Um, it's not like that. There's other ide- there's other formats where it's like they they um, purposely and only focus on like a specific topic and like theorize things. We're not going to do that. We're not going to copy other ideas. We're just gonna like think about something that people suggest and try and take it to another level. And there is no specific idea as to what that is at the moment. Yeah. I'm but sure. what I need you to do is I need you to tweet at Stuck in a Podcast. So this is a second tweet that you'll be tweeting us. Tweet at Stuck in a Podcast with a topic idea. So for example, baking stuff. For example, the year 2242. Give us a topic. And we'll think about it creatively. Well, I'll be dead then. We're not going to do it in the year 2242. Oh. <laughs> Can you just imagine that? I've been stuck in a podcast published on 2242, scheduled since this date. <laughs> That'd be cool. I mean, That'd could. be a proper time you capsule. <gasps> we should make a time capsule one episode. Yeah, we could do that. Oh my God. I'm writing down that idea. So you can expect a time capsule episode coming up soon. <laughs> Just in like 2057 or something like that, when we're like 57, 59. We're actually going to do something. I think we should do this. Mm. I think we should make like an episode where we record it next week and it comes out next week in a year's time. Oh God. All right. I think that'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. And it's just, so oh today, shit, there's a time. The yeah. queer has come down to the park. <laughs> <laughs> and then? Well, I don't want to say the rest of it because it'll be spoilers for 2021. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, that's a good idea. Okay, we're going to do that eventually. Might take a year. Um, and, uh,. Yeah, so that's that's my homework. Um, talking of like tweets and stuff, what's going on with you on Twitter, guy? Okay? Uh, nothing. They still no reply. Nothing. Lovely. Thanks for listening <laughs> to the podcast, everybody. <laughs> nah, go for it. I was just gonna say I sent another another appeal like last night just to check if they had like actually just done anything or not, and it just yeah. says this is linked to a current appeal which we are still reviewing. <laughs> we will get back to you and add this one to your current one. And I was like, thanks. It's not like I've been waiting four weeks. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you're not going to get it back I mean, anytime I, I'm soon. I'm not too fast at the moment because obviously there's more important things than my twi- Twitter account. But like my still. Twitter account, help me get to three thousand followers. <laughs> at Five X is HD. <laughs> nah, you've done mad though on your Twitter. I've you've got well, like but... half of my followers in, in a month. A month. Hmm. So you've done a mad, well, obviously, like, that as expected, I'm the shit ton smaller. But that's, like, that, that's a good recovery. That's a really good recovery. It's a good recovery, but And I bet you weren't even expecting that in a month. Nah, but it's still, like... A piss take. A 20th of what I have. Yeah. Which is, sucks, but... I mean, I might get my account back if I do. Great. If I don't, well, then I guess we'll find out in 2021. The account got eight by coronavirus. Maybe. <laughs> Currently it has been because no one's looking at it because of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, I think um we should leave it there. Yes. Go on then, Viking Kai, lead us out. Thank you for watching Help by Stuck in Podcast. Today? No. Bye bye. Fuck off. <laughs> Um, happy April Fool's Day, everybody. This entire episode was a joke. Um, what? <laughs> I'm not joke. You are. No.
Okay. Hi, Fraser. Oh, no. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Bitch! <laughs>